Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my website at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn other great tips, tricks, and techniques, everything about Excel. Uh, before we get started, I want to say a big thank you to all of my new subscribers. I also want to say thanks for everybody who's liked the last video. Really appreciate it. Uh, seeing some good uh, likes uh, percentage-wise on each video, so really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, please click on the subscribe uh, button and also click on that bell icon so you're sure to get notification directly to your inbox. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you create this chart here, which is a uh, stacked uh, stacked column chart, but we've added this separator line. I've had a few users ask me, how do I add a separator vertical line uh, between either a column chart or a stacked column chart? Uh, so I want to make sure I call out these different regions uh, more distinctly uh, without this line. Like, let's see if I go in here and select this line and hit my delete key. You'll notice it's not quite as easy to see the different regions, southern versus northern. It may be a little because of the data. Uh, but you can add as many vertical lines as you would like into your chart. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, so uh, first, what we want to do is we've got our data here. And as you can see, our data has um, our different uh, products versus service sales uh, by region, by state. And then we've got a summation formula. This is just a simple equal sum formula for the data that you see over on the left-hand side. And so uh, what we want to do is we also want to create a separate data range for our XY series. Every one of our vertical lines is going to have a separate XY series. Uh, so you can create those and divide up your stacked column charts as you see fit. Now, the uh, data that we have here um, for our X's, uh, let's first, uh, before we go create our data, let's go ahead and create our chart so I can show you how this is going to work. So we're going to highlight our range. We are not going to include our total um, because the total is going to be the stacked amount. I'm going to do insert ribbon. I'm going to go to my column button for charts, and I'm going to do a stacked column chart. Uh, now, as you can see here, we have our uh, stacked column chart. And uh, what I wanted to show you is we've got Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. We have four different data points. Then we want our break. Then we have our fifth data point. So it is right in between that. That's where we want to create our XY series. Uh, Microsoft Excel is going to count each one of these series as a one, two, three, four. So we're going to have to go four and a half if we want our line to go right between South Carolina and New York. So our X's are going to be at 4.5. Um, and so we're going to have one X out there at 4.5. Um, and we're also going to have a, another, a second X at 4.5 to be the top of the line. So we're going to have a top and bottom of our line. Now, uh, our, the Y is going to be, the first one is going to be at zero. So four and a half and zero. And our second one is going to be four and a half. And what we want to do is match our current chart. So we want to do the maximum of our tallest total that we have out in the chart. So we're going to do equals max to end uh, tab to get my parentheses. I'm going to highlight my total column, end my parentheses and hit enter. And you'll see it's four and a half and 149 would match up with that line. Now what we want to do is finish off our chart by adding that vertical line that we're going to create with this new XY series by first selecting our chart then going up to our design ribbon. In our design ribbon, we're going to see select data button in our data group and click on that. And it's going to bring up your select data source dialog box. And we're going to go ahead and add a new series. And we're going to just, it doesn't really matter. We'll go ahead and click on the XY series here uh, as our series name. And uh, we don't have to do anything for our series values, but let's make it kind of large. Um, and I'm going to backspace over that and I'm going to select 149 to make sure it's a really large value that I can see on my chart. And then click on OK. You've added the series and click on OK again. You can see that that green series is our XY series. Now it's showing up as part of the stacked column because we're going to now make an XY series uh, chart type out of this. So select your chart, select that one series that we just created, go up to your design ribbon. Over on the left-hand side or somewhere in there, you're going to see change chart type, which is a uh, under the type group. 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select a, um, an XY scatter at type of chart. Now we just want a vertical line without markers, so we don't want. We could probably choose scatter with smooth line, but uh, we'll make sure it's straight by clicking on the scatter with straight lines type of chart. Click on OK. Now you can see it is gone, and we're not sure where it is. It's still on there, but uh, what we want to do is select our chart. Once again, go back to our design ribbon. Go select our select data button under the data group. And in here, we're going to select the XY series. We're going to edit it. And now we have our true XY series type of uh, values. So we've got the name already chosen. The X values, I'm going to highlight my two X values there. I'm going to hit the tab button because I find that this makes sure it selects the whole Y values area. And I'm just going to go ahead and select my two Y values that we have there as well and click on OK, click on OK again. You can now see that our vertical line has been created at the exact point that we want it to be. Now, if we wanted our chart to be, uh, like let's check this out. Uh, if we go ahead and change some of these values to like say 3.5 and 3.5, you'll see it moves over one um, and it moves to a different spot. You can create each one of these XY series for as many lines as you want. Let's actually change it to three and three. And you can now see that I am dissecting one of those columns or stacked columns that we had before. Let me undo all of that and make sure we have our line back to where we want it. We're just separating northern and southern regions. I'm going to select that line on my chart. So now we're going to change the color of that line. You can do that kind of easily by selecting your chart selecting that line if you can get your mouse on it. Um, I'm having trouble selecting that one, but I can just move my up and down arrows until I finally get that series. You can see over on the left hand side it's now selected. I'm going to press the control one key. Um, you can also do that under design um, and let's go ahead and show you that now that we've got it selected. Our uh, layout ribbon I should say, not design ribbon. We're going to do format selection and it brings up our format data series dialog box. And what I want to do is change the line color to a solid line. And I'm going to choose a dark black for that solid line. If you don't want it that strong, you could certainly do something more in the gray family. Darker gray, click on close. Now we're almost done. Our chart is very close to being done. We've got our vertical line set in there, uh, breaking up uh, the regions as we see fit. I just need to go in and do some chart cleanup by selecting my chart selecting the legend, then selecting this XY series legend entry and pressing my delete key. My chart is now complete. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Remember, you can add as many vertical lines in there as you want, any place that you want in a stacked column chart. Just got to know how to go add a series, change it to an XY scatter of straight lines, uh, modify your X's and Y's so that you make sure you plot out your line. Realize that you're one, two, three, four, you're four and a half. These vertical lines, if you want them to separate, are in halves because the South Carolina is four, New York is one, but if we go four and a half, we'll be right in between. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to hit the like button and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking on the EDT logo and then scroll down and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. If you need more details or links, click on the step-by-step -step image. Finally, check out these other videos you might also like.